push yourself to hit the 12 to 15 rep range with as much weight as you can. Because if you do that consistently, you're gonna get tremendous results. Hey, what's up guys? Gary Walker here with liveanabolic.com and welcome back for another video. All right, in this video, I'm gonna give you a home muscle building superset workout that you can do at home specifically for men over 40, all right? But here's the thing with this video. This video is a lower body workout. So basically part A, I did this same video with the upper body workout. So make sure you go back and check out that other video. So we've got a full body superset workout for your upper body. Now we're gonna do one for the lower body. So quickly, what are supersets? Supersets are doing two exercises back to back. The benefit to doing that, one, it increases the intensity of the workout. Two, it's gonna help elevate testosterone and growth hormone levels. Three, it's gonna speed up your workout. So you're not gonna to have to take long one hour workouts, one and a half hour workouts. This is a 30 to 45 minute workout. All right, so quick, intense, loaded with benefits. All right, so with that being said, if you haven't already subscribed to our channel, make sure you subscribe to our channel. Here's the last thing before we actually get into the workout. I've got my ripped after 40 for men workout available. All right, so here's the thing with the workout. It's a, an amazing workout plan loaded with supersets, tri-sets, giant sets, a lot of cool techniques. It's got a lot of tricon work in there. So definitely if you're interested in that, make sure you click on the link in the description below. That way you can pick up our ripped after 40 for men. All right, with that being said, let's get over and get the workout started. All right, the first two exercises we're gonna do are a dumbbell goblet squat and a dumbbell suitcase carry. So if you haven't done that, make sure you check this out so I can show you exactly what to focus on when you're doing it. Here's the thing with the supersets. Two exercises back to back, all right? No rest in between these two exercises. So basically what we're gonna do, goblet squat, 12 to 15 reps, then straight into a dumbbell suitcase carry with no rest. But at the end of the dumbbell suitcase carry, I want you to rest 60 to 90 seconds. Get a good breath, recover slightly. You don't have to have full recovery, all right? Because we want to increase the intensity of the workout. So it's okay if you're still a little shallower breath to go ahead and get straight back into the second set. But that's what you wanna do, 60 to 90 seconds. Then you're gonna do it all over again. The second time, rest again for 60 to 90 and do it a third time. So Okay, so you're gonna be doing that for each of these exercises, all right? So you've got the first two, I'm about to do those. Then we'll get into the second two, but basically that's how I want you to structure this. No rest between the first two, rest after, all right? So with that said, let's start with the goblet squats. Again, 12 to 15 is the goal. Here's the thing when you're doing goblet squats, when you're doing your first set, it's okay to take your time even if you need one or two warm-up sets, which is typically what I recommend, especially for older men, you really wanna get down here, all right? Feel it out, get comfortable, open up your hips a little bit. Go ahead and sit in this position if you need to. 15 to 30 seconds, whatever it takes you to get loosened up. All right, so the key with the goblet squat, I'll briefly explain this. Keep the dumbbell as close to your chest as possible. Keep your abs tight and engaged, keep your chest out, shoulders back as much as possible. That's gonna be the best position. That's gonna be the best form when you're doing this to keep your lower back safe. All right, once you feel you're ready and you're comfortable, nice and slow on the way up, all right? The other thing I really wanna stress when you're doing this, don't just bend forward and drop down. Not only can that hurt your lower back, but it's gonna be really hard on your knees. So basically what I recommend, get your glutes back, Sink down, take it as deep as you can, drag back up. The reason I say as deep as you can, not everybody's gonna be able to get all the way down. Not everybody's even gonna be able to get parallel. See, my legs are parallel to the ground. If you can't do that initially, it's okay to bring it down here, come back up. Go as deep as you can comfortably. That's the goal. Again, weights are close to my body. Upper torso is upright as much as possible. All right, let me show you a couple more here. Nice, slow, and under control when you're doing these. All right, from here, the dumbbell suitcase carry. Take a dumbbell, you basically want it to be as heavy as you have, in one side of your body, and you're just gonna walk, all right? But the key when you're doing the walk, 
is you don't want this to bring you down to the side. You're gonna engage your core, keeping your shoulders square, chest out, shoulders back. And you wanna walk 12 steps, go back, walk another 12 steps, all right? So once you get the 24 steps there, rotate arms. You're gonna do the same thing with the other arm. 12 steps, obviously I have a short space and I'm not using heavy weight for the demonstration, but you wanna make sure the weight is as heavy as you have access to. Reason being, that's really going to engage the core. It's going to strengthen the core, which is gonna help support your spine for all the other exercises. And it will help with any lower back pain that you typically have, all right? But again, after you've done that, weights down, nice deep breath, get your controlled breathing again, as much as you can within the 60 to 90 seconds. Here's the other thing, if you're gonna be doing this for a few weeks, a few different workouts, basically if you're not in great shape, your conditioning levels are on the lower end, take the full 90 seconds if you need to, all right? The goal being get down to the 60 second rest period. The closer you are to 60, the more intense the workouts are gonna be, and the better conditioning is going to become, the better your conditioning is gonna become. All right, so once you've done these two for three sets, again, rest, do a second set, rest again, do a third set, then we're gonna get into our second superset. All right, first one is gonna be lunges. So you can do body weight lunges, or you can actually do dumbbell lunges, all right? All you wanna do with the lunges, I actually prefer as opposed to the walking lunges where you're going forward, I like reverse lunges where you step back, drop. Right back up, step back, drop, right back up, all right? And I'm 12 to 15 reps is what you're shooting for with all of these exercises. Here's the thing, the 12 to 15 when you're doing a unilateral movement, meaning working each side independently, you want the 12 to 15 for each side. So 12 to 15 with your right and 12 to 15 with your left. So that's the goal when you're doing these. All right. The second exercise that we're pairing with this is a dumbbell RDL or Romanian deadlifts. This is gonna really target your quads, your glutes, all right, and your adductors, the inner thighs when you're doing these lunges. Then we're gonna go from here into the dumbbell RDLs. The goal with the RDLs is a posterior movement. You're targeting your hamstrings, glutes again, and low back. Goal here, drive your glutes back and allow the dumbbells to go down your legs, but make sure you're keeping them as close to your body as possible. You should feel a nice big stretch right here in your hamstring. Also, make sure you're keeping your back flat and not rounded like this. Keep it flat, keep your back straight. That's gonna place all the emphasis on your hamstrings and remove it from your low back. So you a couple more here. There we go, all right. All right, so again, you would put the weight down, get your breathing under control, get a nice good breath, rest your 60 to 90, and do set two. 60 to 90, do set three, all right? That's basically how this is going to be structured, all right? The third superset we're gonna do, side lunges. We're gonna do a side lunge with a glute bridge. Side lunge, I like to keep my feet slightly forward step out to the side. When I step out, here's one key point. Everybody's anatomy is slightly different, different ankle mobility, hip mobility. So when I step out, you'll notice my feet rotate out slightly. That actually takes stress off of my knees. So when you're doing these, make sure it's comfortable for your knees. For instance, if you're stepping out, feet are straight, and you're coming down and it hurts your knee, try rotating your toes out slightly. That tends to take a little bit of stress off of your knee. But again, we're not all built 100% the same. So find a position that's a little bit more comfortable for you. 
Same here, feet back together. Step out slightly, lunge, back up, straight up, just like this. Same thing with the depth of your lunge. If your leg can get parallel to the ground, go ahead and get that deep if you can. However, if you're only at this angle and that's as far as you can go down, that's okay. Stay there, pop back up. Here's the thing I want you to focus on though, is getting a little bit deeper with each rep. You'll notice the more of these you do, the more blood you start generating around your knees. And then that's going to help open up, uh, creating a little synovial fluid in your knee joints, which will make it easier on your knee. And you'll start stretching out your hips a little bit, stretching out your groin which, with each of these, which will allow you to go a little bit deeper each time. All right. Side lunges. From here, we're going to do the glute bridge. Basically, get both heels close to your glutes, core tight. I like to get my back pinched at the bottom, the back, make sure you're keeping those shoulder blades together and raise, push with your heels when you're doing this and really focus on squeezing the glutes together and the glute and the ham tie in. Come down, right back up, down. One thing you'll notice at the top, thousand one, thousand two, Really focus on contracting at the top of the movement. Thousand one, thousand two. One, thousand two. The reason I'm stressing that because you don't want to just kind of go through the motions and rock and rock. All right, you want to really hold that squeeze, hold that contraction when you're doing this. So you a couple more here. Thousand one, thousand two. Thousand one, thousand two. All right. So you would do that. Get your rest. Your 60 to 90 seconds of rest when you do that. Gather your breath. Again, the more you do these, when you get into set two and three, you start getting towards the end of the workout, then obviously you're never gonna get and recover your breath 100%. So that's not the goal. The goal is to just allow some of the blood to leave your muscles, allow a little bit more oxygen to fill your lungs. With me doing this and talking, I'm not getting a lot of oxygen in my lungs because I'm talking, all right? so. That's why I sound so out of breath when I'm doing this. But basically, I do want you to realize the benefits to this, you're increasing that intensity. You're burning fat. You're building muscle. You're getting in better shape, better condition. So stay consistent with this, all right? But I just cut into the workout a little bit. Last thing I want you to focus on, if you watched my last video where I showed you the upper body version of the superset workout, I mentioned the abs were gonna be in this workout. So that's what we're about to do, all right? So we're basically going to superset two ab exercises. I'm gonna do a reverse crunch superset with a Russian twist. So I'm gonna show you, here's two different things with the Russian twist. Reverse crunch is gonna work the lower abs up. Russian twist, a lot of oblique muscles and your abs as well. So good overall movement. You can do the Russian twist with no weight. Basically, all that means is you can, here's a beginner Russian twist. Keep your feet, heels down, reach to the side. You're leaning back, reach, 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 reach. If you want a more advanced version, heels up, no weight, just like that. A more advanced version is to grab weight. Grab a dumbbell, a medicine ball, a kettlebell, something like that, elevate your heels, and you're gonna have weight in your hands as you're rotating, all right? So that will be the second exercise in this super set. But basically the first, I really like reverse crunches. You can do lying leg lifts, but with the reverse crunches, I feel it takes a little bit of stress off of your lower back. So basically for these core type, you can either place your hands to the side, you can place them behind your head, but don't pull on your head. For instance, use your hands for support and you're basically going to tuck your knees into your chest and rotate. One, two, three. Slightly more advanced, instead of bringing your heels like a heel tap at the bottom, knees in and then feet out. Knees in, feet out with every rep. Again. Lower abs. You'll also notice my knees aren't just coming to my chest with my butt down. 
I'm rotating my hips. That's the biggest thing I want you to focus on. All right, here and rotate. Here and rotate. You're getting the hips up and your knees closer to your chest. You're gonna shoot 12 to 15 reps. Immediately go into your Russian twist. Again, if you need your heels down, make sure you're leaning back to engage the abs. One, two. You notice how I'm counting? Three, four. You wanna go that route and not one, two, three, four. It's each side is one rep. So one, two, three, more advanced, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. If this is too easy, like I mentioned, add weight. Add weight with everything. So with this workout, that's your last superset. All right, so basically what you would do, good breath. 60 to 90 seconds, and then you can do that two more times. All right, but the goal with each of these exercises, it's a short workout because we're doing the supersets. It speeds up the workout, but you want to max out the intensity. Adding the exercises back to back increases the intensity, all right? But here's the thing. If you're doing extremely light weight, half-ass ever, then it's not going to give you the same benefit. So, Make sure if you have access to decent weight, use as much weight as your body can handle within the 12 to 15 rep range for each exercise, all right? You'll notice I did a lot of body weight. That's for the sake of the video, all right? Just so I can demonstrate how to do these correctly. But for you, if you need 40 pound dumbbells, man, to do a lunge, then get 40 pound dumbbells. If you need 60 pound dumbbells to do a goblet squat, use 60 pound dumbbells, all right? One thing I will, uh, tell you guys if you're working out at home with only light dumbbells if you don't have heavy dumbbells you can still get tremendous benefits if you do have heavier dumbbells use the heavy dumbbells and fail within the 12 to 15 rep range here's the thing though if you only have 15 pound dumbbells or 20 pound dumbbells you can still get tremendous results but start trying to do some of my tricon training for goblet squats, all right? Tricon training for glute bridges, things of that nature. If you don't know what tricon training is, then make sure you check out some of my tricon videos where I break down in detail how to do a tricon set because you're gonna get tremendous benefits with lighter weight. That's the best thing about doing a tricon. You don't have to have 30, 40, or 50 pound dumbbells. But again, if you do have access to those, and I'm challenging you, challenging you, man, Make sure you use them and push yourself. Push yourself to hit the 12 to 15 rep range with as much weight as you can. Because if you do that consistently, you're gonna get tremendous results. But again, one more reminder, this is the lower body workout. Go back and check out my other video if you haven't already where I show you the upper body workout. So you do both of those together. You can do both of those twice a week. Do upper body or lower body, however you wanna start on Monday. Then do the other one on Tuesday. Take Wednesday off, then Thursday, do upper body. Friday, do your lower body, all right, upper body. You can do whatever you want in whatever order. Just do it a couple times a week and you're gonna get tremendous results. But man, I hope you like this video, all right? If you have any questions about the workouts, supersets, any of the exercises, or even my Tricon stuff, make sure you comment below and let me know. One more reminder for the Ripped After 40 for Men. I wrote that specifically for you older guys, loaded with supersets, triceps, and my Tricon training. So it's already done for you. No, all you have to do is get the program and follow the program, and that's the blueprint to great results. But man, other than that, that's all that I got. Get busy, get after it, and God bless.